Hello students. In the previous lectures, we have created a project and few drawings with different templates. But it is not a good way to use different templates in a single project. But uh, as you know, we have created these drawings just for practice. So in the coming sessions, you will see what are the disadvantages of using the different templates. This lecture is about wires. As in AutoCAD Electrical, wire is the basic building block of every electrical circuit and drawing. In normal AutoCAD, we only deal with lines with different properties. But in AutoCAD Electrical, we will deal with lines as well as the wires and components. So there are some of the differences and similarities between the lines and wires which we will discuss in this lecture. If you click on any of the tab, there appear a command, a shortcut command which, you, which is used for that command and along with the description of that command. The shortcut command is also important and uh, in the coming lectures we will mainly focus on the shortcut commands. Now if you, if you click on the circle, you can see that the shortcut command for circle is C-I-R-C-L-E. If I click anywhere on the drawing, the first point is, this is the center point and now it asks me to specify the radius of the circle. So this is the radius of the circle. Now if I click on this one, so I have entered the circle command, it asks me a center and a radius. But there are multiple methods to draw a circle. Now you move on each of them, you can see that the command used for all of them is circle. There are other methods also. This one is the default circle. If you enter, then it will ask you the center and the radius. But if you click on the 3P, it will draw the 3 point circle. If you click on 2P, it will draw the 2P. Similarly, tangent, tangent, radius. So let's suppose draw 2P point specify the first point and specify the second point so this is the two this is the circle with two points so these are the, some of the properties of using these commands these similarly you can also see that the command used for this one is also arc let's suppose zoom my window if i want to zoom my window up to my extent you can enter z or e or either you can also double click on mouse wheel and uh, it will zoom to your extent area like uh, let's suppose i am entering z z for zoom zoom all it will zoom to my drawing area now let's suppose draw a few lines i want to use this command repeat line command now if I again want to repeat the line command, I will enter the space key or I can use this repeat line. So both the commands can be used for repeat command or I can also use the repeat input. You can also pick the previous commands from this list, repeat line. let's suppose i want to delete a line what i want to i want to enter delete click on the line press enter the line will be deleted so these are very easy commands press enter line will be deleted now entering the trim command we will only click on the line and the line will be trimmed so we don't need to enter key but if i want to apply AE trim which is used for AutoCAD electrical wires if I enter this command it will ask me to select wire to trim but this one is the line if I click on the line it will also be deleted so I can also apply the AE trim command on the normal AutoCAD electrical lines or arcs etc but this command AE trim is specifically for use for wires like uh, let's suppose I want to enter now a few wires press this space key again press space key to enter wire again space key now You can see that 
these wires are connected to the another horizontal wire so there is a connection between these two wires which is the dot t so the dot t appear because the wires are connected now i want to apply the trim and the delete command on the wires and see how it will affect my drawings i have entered the delete command if i click on the wire enter you can see that the dot appear on this wire which was the connection between the two wires but it appeared on this drawing which is not a good method to use the delete command for wires now i want to use the erase command erase work in similarly as the delete command so the dot also appear here so it is not deleted now i want to use the trim command click on the wire the dot appear here now using ctrl z to repeat the ae trim command click on the wire you can see that the dot also disappear so these dots can be deleted manually